Okay, it's finally mo Ugh. It is finally filming. I can't believe, for a start, trying to get this video recorded was such a pain in the ass. I have all these professional memory sticks. Uh, one of them is like 300 megabytes per second uh, for upload and download. Very, very good. Uh, unfortunately, not compatible with this piece of shit camera because it's not a um, it's a HC and not a XC. I've now got to Google what the fucking difference is. Anyway, luckily I found one in my box which was an XC, so I can record it. Um, gonna try all these different chemicals in order to take this masking tape off. Try soaking it in water. Thought that would be a perfect idea uh, because it's paper, obviously. Um, Funny enough, when masking tape goes on, it's, v it's not very sticky, it's actually quite shit. The idea of masking tape is that you can peel it off, so if you're doing some painting, etc. Um, you can paint onto it, peel it off, and it doesn't wreck everything. Uh, funny enough, this is made of um, a steel or some other material. Um, it'd be high grade because it's from um, an aircraft, and um, it would get very, very hot, so it's got to be non-meltable. Uh, I did think about heating it up to get rid of it, but at the same time I didn't want to ruin the, the glaze or the colour. Uh, so, the idea is to get some different chemicals. Now, one of them, um, which uh, was told to me, was uh, acetone. Uh, and the reason for that, um, I believe, is because a nail varnish remover um, breaks down, it's got a, such a high solvent, it breaks down all sorts of stuff. So I'd imagine that would probably be the best. Uh, and the person who told me that to me, um, he, um, well, he strips down aircraft all of the time. Uh, he's also a metallurgist and very, very clever guy. Um, now, maybe that would work. Uh, well, yes. Oh my God, don't smell it. Ooh. It does seem to be doing it. Uh, now I could probably zoom in. I don't know if you can see that, but it is doing it. Maybe if I applied it directly onto it, it would clean it a bit better. I think this stuff's pretty flammable. Um, now, let's have a quick look. Oh, you can see everything here. That's good. Now, if I zoom out just slightly. This is very, very wet now. And it is actually breaking it down very, very nicely. Now I may not want to use tissue to take this off, but at the same time, if I was to use something, I'd have to use a cloth that didn't disintegrate. Um, the other issue with this is, yes, acetone is breaking it down, but it is doing it very slowly. Now in the past, to take sticky stuff off, so if you've got sticky stuff on your CD, for instance, from the label, um, a lot of people say you buy this sticky stuff remover, and it does the trick. Well, the baseline um, product in sticky stuff remover is petrol. So you're basically paying lots and lots of money to have this sticky stuff remover. And all you've basically got is petrol with, with a little bit of perfume to make it smell like flowers when you're doing it. Um, and, well, I mean, you can see that was over there. And now there's all the sticky stuff has been removed. So this um, acetone... A nail varnish remover, which is obviously very good for your delicate for your lady's hands, will remove all sorts of shit and turn your hands pink. Now, why does that happen? There is no pink on there. That, well, it's lightly pink. I wonder if it's dyeing the blue out of that. It probably is. Uh, but yeah, this is supposed to be good for um, doing your, your lady's nails. And here we are removing industrial tape off of an air aircraft engine. And it's actually removing the um, the dye from the tissue. Right, let me zoom back out again. And now, whoopsie daisy. Well, now upload this. I'm going to probably have to upload this to YouTube purely because it's going to be so big. Um, this is a high definition camera. It's also a good idea to test it out because I've got to do some film work on it later next year. Now I don't like, I mean Nitromores is a great product, it really is. It'll strip paint, it'll do all sorts of stuff, but the trouble is it'll strip the inside of your lungs out as well. So if you don't ventilate and don't take uh, care of the uh, caution labels, I shit you not, it's fucking evil. So I try not to use that. I will try however to use some petrol on this next bit to see how that plays. The only problem with the petrol is it won't soak into the um, 
the tape itself. So I'll try it on the glue bit. Now bear in mind, this glue isn't sticky. Uh, it's, um, it's hard. So what's happened is um, it's just dried out over time. And the, you know, it's literally like, I suppose, plastic. Now, when I was stripping down, um, last time, I thought, what did I do? I was um, taking apart um, an aircraft trolley, and that was packed with sellotape and old shit like this. Uh, and petrol did come in very good handy, but I ended up using a sticky stuff remover. Um, just purely because, at the time, the sticky stuff remover was uh, cheaper than buying pet cans of pe petrol. Right, now again, that does remove it very, very easily, which is good. So we've got the acetone, which will remove it very easily, um, with a, perhaps a little bit more effort on the acetone. However, it doesn't remove the paper, which the acetone does. So maybe the acetone is better for removing this. Uh, or perhaps another long soak in the bath will remove the top layer of the paper. And what I've been using, and I'll have to just leave you with this for a minute, you just have to stare at it, I'm sorry, it's beautiful. Just, in, just enjoy how beautiful that can is. I'll be back in a moment, don't worry. I've been using one of these, which was a SIM card thing. That's plastic. The reason I used plastic was the idea to scrape it off without scratching the, the metal. Doesn't do a very good job, unfortunately. Uh, the other thing, this is great. Uh, this is made in America. Um, and, um, oh god, it's soaking wet because I had it in the bath yesterday. You know, as you do, obviously, you want to, if you're going to go in the bath, you want to take a razor blade with you. Sure, maybe some vodka. Um, but um, this, what it does is it, is it gets right underneath it. And when it was wet, just lock that in place, when it was wet, it was scraping it off without too much effort. Now it's a pain in the ass, and that's the other thing as well, which is a real pain in the ass, is it takes it off in little pieces. I want to be able to strip it off the way it was put on, but no, I can see this is going to be an absolute bitch of a job. It really is, and that's what I didn't want. So this is why I asked all my friends on Facebook, what can I use to take this shit off? Now the other thing I thought about was methylated spirits. Not only is it a very good cheap drink for the uh, local boozers, and it turns their skin purple, funny enough, uh, but it also, it will take things off as well. I'm going to continue using Blue Roll. The purely the reason for that is I don't have any cloths I want to damage. And um, at the same time, I live with a woman. If I turn one of her cloths purple when it was supposed to be green, she's never really very happy with me. So let's try this. Jeez, apart from really smelling, God, it smells. Uh, all it seems to be taking is the paper off the tissue. Maybe a little bit of the masking tape, but generally, it's crap. Absolutely crap. So I won't bother with that. Um, maybe it's good for cleaning paint brushes. Maybe it's good for taking cleaning windows. It's great for cleaning glass. Not very good for cleaning this. Maybe I'll use it afterwards to clean the metal up and make it nice, but that's not going to work. Right, now I better open the fucking windows now for this shit, because this is the last bottle of what I've got before I go and buy anything else. And yes, it's, it's, it's winter here, it's cold, it's horrible. It's a British winter, so it's not as bad as perhaps, you know, a, a Chicago winter or... Uh, even perhaps a Pennsylvania wind. Where was my father used to live? Philadelphia or something. Oh god, he said it was horrible. Anyway, I'd have to just believe him on that. I've seen the snow, I don't want to go there. Now this stuff is very, very horrible. Uh, but it normally does the trick. So it goes on clear. And you are supposed to leave it on for... Well, let's have a quick look. Bear in mind, it's running down the tank, which is not going to be useful for my side. So I'll just pop up tissue under there. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, leave on, wear a mask, oops. Uh, leave on for five to ten minutes until the paint has blistered. And then after that, leave, leave, um, apply a second coat and leave for 40 minutes. 
40 minutes of this stuff in my house. <sighs> Paint and varnish remover. It's just not quick enough. Acetone takes it off okay with a lot of effort, but it does seem to take it off straight away. This is sitting there. It's got to sit there and eat into it. Well, it might also eat into my metal. I don't know. Probably not, but nonetheless, I don't really want to try it. The only problem is getting the stuff out as well. So let's uh, let's have a little look. It does say with a scraper. Now, perhaps not my little toy. I've got another scraper. Don't worry, I'll be back in a minute. Right, now these things I believe are supposed to be for plastering, but anyway, I'm going to try and use it for this. It looks like it's taking it off, doesn't it? But do you know what, I think it's just the gel I'm scraping off here. Yeah. See, I get some wonderful toys from the MOD, especially for making artwork out of. And this one, I thought would like it was in the picture when I got the picture I thought oh that would be perfect didn't have all sticky tape all over there bloody one did it no my one's got sticky tape all over it you know, I can't exactly contact the MOD so can I have a refund please because there's sticky tape over it one you look very stupid and two yeah, I don't think they'd do it to be honest with you anyway I will just take that shit off of there because it's disgusting and also, the other problem is, is they do say to wear latex gloves, which I am doing, but it will melt them after five to ten minutes. So you've got to be very, very careful. Latex will only protect you so far. Sure everyone with a baby knows that. And I've got a nice metal bin out there to keep that nice and safe. And which I'll also, a lot of people won't do this, but I do it. If you've been using such chemicals such as methylated spirits, acetone or nitromores, it's always a good idea, once you've put the tissue in the bin, to add at least a mug of water to that bin, just purely to extinguish that fire risk away. Also, it's very disgusting. I suppose if you were a, a binman and you accidentally split that bin liner, you don't want that shit all over you. You know, trust me, they get enough crap all over them. Right, so nitromores, that the most that's managed to do, and to be fair, I haven't left it for the recommended time, but the most it's managed to do is take the top layer of that off, which, have, to be honest with you, a cup of water could have done. Um, as for the glue, all it seems to have done is smeared the glue, and considering this stuff will eat your lungs within three or four minutes, I wouldn't have thought glue would be too bad, but nonetheless, who's us to argue? Um, now, that has taken that down, plus the scraping, to a smeary glue. So, what we'll do is we'll try we'll back to um, James's idea of acetone. So, we'll try this. And, uh, anyway, it's 10 in the morning, so I'm not going to be drinking this at this time. So I know you guys are getting all sort of upset. Oh, all that alcohol is wasting. Well, the acetone does it again. I've got to pour it on. Yeah, again. Oh, I say again. The only issue with this is it's a curved thing, so every time you pour it on, it takes itself off again. I'm sure on the other side of it, it'll probably be better. And again, it's taking all my colour out of there. I will have to just get one of those cloths. I'll get one of the cloths she doesn't want anymore. Right, let me go and get a cloth. And you can have a look at that, you see? How beautiful this video is, purely. I mean, so far we're at 14 minutes on a video about a drum. Now, it's such a boring video, I'm sure it really is. However... I have a friend, Stephen, he says, you've got to make a video. I was just like, fine, I'll make a video. Last time I made a video was about Flight Simulator. About 50,000 people looked at that video. Everyone had a laugh and everything else. This, seriously, it's a can.
I'm thinking this cloth might be an old pair of pyjamas. I can't see her getting that upset if I put a little bit of chemical over it. Oh, balls. Too much. I'm going to have to get some oil acetone. I think, and um, this is my own admission as well, the acetone seemed to be the best out of all of the different chemicals I've been using. Although petrol did look good, didn't it? So I might have a go at that again. But I think uh, I'm definitely going to have to buy some more acetone. I tell you what, I didn't want this to be so much work. I just really wanted to take it out of the packet, so to speak, and then start thinking about what sort of project I was going to make it into. More than likely, because my uh, artwork is limited, it'll end up as a, um, as a light. I can't see anybody wanting to have this as a table. It won't make a very good wine rack unless you put the bottle in by the neck, in which case that causes stress and break the bottle, and nobody wants that. <laughs> it won't make, make a very good bookend, or maybe it would, but uh, it's a bit heavy for that. Now this is just literally one piece. I've still got the rest of this to do. So I've got to scrape off the sides there, which will be a pain in the ass. I've got a little bit underneath here to do, which again, pain in the ass. Um, and then, this shit is going to be very fiddly. I've got to try and get all the crap out of there. Uh, luckily that side is beautiful. Uh, that's already been done by the MOD because they didn't want to stick on every side, thank God. Excuse my blasphemy there, which is now illegal in Ireland, I'm told. Even apparently up until recently, it was illegal to uh, commit blasphemy in Ireland. And uh, no one's ever heard of Jesus, Mother and Joseph in Ireland, I'm sure. Or Father Ted, I believe it was illegal for so long. I've got to uh, just realise I've got nitromores all over my surface here. And you notice how I did it on the uh, kitchen hob? Well, that's because it's the, a glass surface and it's most resistant to most things. If I put it on the oak wood surface, I don't think I'd have much left. Now, Let's have a look. I hope I haven't got nitrogen. I'm going to have to wash this thing anyway, aren't I? Oh, I tell you, the stink of it. Glad I don't smoke. Well, I say that. I smoke cigars. I like cigars. My wife doesn't like me smoking cigars, but I like them, so I still do it. There's a lot of things my wife doesn't like me to do, but uh, which I don't tend to do, to be honest with you. But uh, you know, I don't like to live that life that dangerously. But um, no, smoking cigars I tend to like. And luckily, that my father lives in the states, so he sends me some occasionally. This isn't bad. This thing is a good scraper. Anyway, I'm going to carry on doing this piece of shit, and I'll be here for the next two or four hours. I might do myself a coffee, and I'm pretty sure you don't want me to do. Uh, you don't want to see that. And um, maybe go back to petrol because petrol did seem to work nicely on that. It does, doesn't it? Look how quick that does. I mean, that was going to be my idea in the first place, but no, I had to put an advert on Facebook. Oh, how do I clean this shit off? I tell you what, I did once uh, put an advert on Facebook about something else. I wanted to cut some uh, titanium. And uh, I had some, uh, some most interesting things. I, always, I thought maybe a cutting disc uh, would do it, you know, from an angle grinder. And um, all my pals, no, 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 you've got to get these diamond cutting discs. Not normal cutting discs, diamond ones. Or oh, you've got to use this, or you've got to use a hacksaw, or something like that. Well... Titanium is one of the hardest metals in the world. I suppose it's not hard, it's, it's strong, is the right word. But as for going against it with a, say, a lump of steel, which is not as strong as titanium, to cut it in half, 
needless to say that was a futile effort. Uh, my friend James, the guy with the acetate, said, oh no, no, all you need is a thin angled riding, uh, angled riding cutting disc and that will cut straight through it. It took me about 30 seconds with one of those, to be honest with you. I would have still been here this month, this week, this hour, cutting it with a uh, hacksaw blade. Uh, the person who told me to use the hacksaw blade said it takes about two or three hacksaw blades to get through it. I'm serious. It took 30 seconds. But nonetheless, James came through again. So I think James' idea, out of all the ideas so far, is being a good one. And I haven't, to be honest with you, bought the anti-sticky stuff remover, which somebody suggested. And um, I believe somebody suggested something else. My father, some cellos type breakdown stuff, which to be honest with you, I don't know what it is, so I can't have an opinion until I get it. And I'm intrigued, so I probably will end up getting it. If we sell it over in this country, because uh, there's certain things we just cannot get. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna do myself a coffee, change my gloves, because they're starting to melt. It's starting to get nice and warm underneath. And remember all the warning labels, don't drink any of this stuff. You know, regardless as to whether I said it's really cool. Uh, there are much nicer drinks out there. Certainly ones that won't block your inside so quickly. Anyway, I'll leave you be.